This is just a quick video to show you how to set one of your auxiliary channels to use a three position switch on the Flysky GT3B. Um, first thing you want to do is print out your uh, firmware version manual. I have version 0.6.1 so this is the manual for that. Basically your trims or your keys. I'm going to use the dual rate or the trim 3 setting. Uh, the trim three knob down here, three position switch. You can use these as your switch up here, up here, you know, the dual rate, whatever you want to use, but I'm just going to use the channel three trim for this example. So we're going to, we're going to set channel three to be a three position switch and just to move this servo so you can see how it works. You can use any channel to set this. So um, first thing too, you'd have to go into your radio and make sure you've set it for how many channels you want to use. So on page two, understand your menu, you're going to see model number of channels and model reset. That's how many, that's where you can put how many channels you want your radio to be running. So just follow that to set your radio for whatever, eight channels, whatever you're using. Okay, page three of the manual says key mapping specific for each model. Um, choose menu reverse and press enter long. So that's what we're going to do. Turn on your radio. Make sure I have no glare on here. I right, would we'll go to reverse, press the button long until it goes in that, to that menu. So there's your trim switch one, trim switch two, or trim switch three on the side here. That's the one I'm going to use for this. So you'd sec select that one. You push push the dial once to get into this next. Thing. I've chosen channel 3. There's other things if you look at the back of the manual what you can choose there but we're going to set channel 3 so I've done that and you push it again short and you get the next um, function that you can adjust. I already set it to NL which is no long keys in other words short and long key press does the same thing. Press it again gives you how, how much you want it to move when you push the button so you want it to be a hundred to go all the way to one end of the servo and a hundred back the other way. You can put whatever value it'll let you put in there. If you just want a small movement, 40, 50, whatever, or 200, which will just be completely the other way. But I'm just going to put a hundred so that will put me back to the center each time. And then reversed. I don't want any reverse of that channel. If you wanted to do that, you could do it there. And then OR. Okay, OR is opposite reset, so I don't need that. No change there. And that's basically it, so we'll just push N and go out. So that should make the servo, make sure my transmitter's on. So when I push channel 3 now, see if we can get, get a shot of that. When I push channel 3, trim one way. You get this half the servo movement, press, press it back to the middle, you get the middle. And there's the three positions, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three, back. So that's pretty simple, really. All right, so that's it. You're set. Whenever you work that, it tells you you're in that channel. Whenever you use a particular channel, it gives you the menu on the screen. What we're doing. Alright. Cool mode take.